Hi and hello, welcome back, Jana here with a new layout and I'm finally working with the November hip kits. And I uh, started with a white background and um, a leftover from some cut files and um, I'm using the Dessler, Dessler that's included in the um, color kit this month. It's a silvery um, color and it's, um, yeah, and I'm using um, that word uh, as a stencil. And um, I'm here, you can see the sparkling silver, and I'm scrapping a picture from our from one of our windows, and it's um, decorated with some nutcrackers and um, a lot of lights and stars, and yeah, and um, yeah, that's one of our favorite things in the Christmas time to decorate um, each window with um, lights, and it's yeah, we love it. But um, I think everyone loves lights in the darkness and yeah. And um, yeah, I'm using some papers to layer behind my picture and that's um, the one, the gray, uh, the gray side of the paper has uh, snowflakes and the other side is white with black dots. And that's an exclusive paper and I think the one on the top, the um, wood grain is also exclusive, but I'm not pretty sure I will. Yeah, and here I'm looking um, through the die cuts and these are also exclusive to the kit and they are designed by Kim and they are gorgeous. I love them. And um, yeah, because of the placement um, from my word, I was very, um, the flexibility uh, was not, um, yeah. And um, the first thing I've done uh, was to size down my paper to 9 by 12 because that's my favorite size. And now I'm trying out some different um, options here. And um, yeah, I'm. it took me a while. I had to look and to change the placement from the paper and the picture. And yeah, um, I started that layout on, um, I worked on that layout for two days. I um, I had to think about it. It's when I'm opening the kits, um, the first lay layout is the hardest um, because I don't know what to choose and what to use. There are so many things and yeah, um, that's a problem of a scrapbooker, right? And um, yeah, here, um, I'm still looking, but um, I turned off the camera and added um, a clear gesso because I needed um, a bit of color. But first, I'm trying to um, trying to find um, <laughs> yeah the right place and um, peeling everything off and. Um, playing with the papers and that's um, where my picture will will go and um, yeah I'm still trying and trying and mm, it's a bit annoying when you don't know what to do <laughs> and yeah here um, I'm cutting down that paper strip and um, I think I will stop in just a second and um, yeah I cut it um, a few more um, cut files from the November cut files and the one with the stars and also the trees are from um, Irit. Irit, Irit and um, but that's um, very close to my final version of the layout. <coughs> <clears throat> zooming in, zooming out. The next day the clear gesso is dry and here are the cut files or the cut file with the stars and um, that's the colorings and I don't know the right name but um, it's also included in the color kit this month and um, it's a great green turquoise color and um, yeah I love that color it's not it's and I think it's a flat color without any sparkling. But I'm not, no, I'm not pretty, pretty sure, no. Adding some splatters and then um, 
zooming in. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm now I'm adding some tissue paper behind my picture and placing the papers back. And wait, wait a second. Okay, uh, sorry about that. Uh, my cat was scratching on the door and um, I needed to let him out. <laughs> and yeah, um, the color is uh, on the layout and I'm placing the cut file right on the um, wood paper strip. And I will add some stitches, but um, before I'm trying, I'm still trying to find what I want to use. And these tiny word stickers are also exclusive to the kits and they are awesome. Um, there are a lot of uh, stickers. They are not uh, Christmassy. You can uh, use them for all kind of layouts and I love the colors and they are also a great quality. It's um, very thick stickers. And here I removed um, the clip from that tree because I wanted to use the pink letters. It's also uh, exclusive. And they are pink with a golden line. And um, yeah, I wanted to have pink on that page. And so I will grab some pink, pinky things. <laughs> And here I uh, added some stitches and yeah, and because of the pink, I wanted to remove, um, I wanted to hide um, the red berries on the, on the leaves because uh, red and pink together is not, it's not, um, I don't like to mix these colors, I think. Or maybe I just wanted to, to hide. I just wanted to show the leaves. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not sure why I, well. And um, yeah, peeling off the paper from the stickers. And I changed um, the tree to a flare and that's a pink flare. And they are also exclusive to the kits. And adding some stars. But I will, I will remove um, that pink one. It's, I don't, I don't know. I needed to remove it. And <clears throat> I think I am nearly done. It's a very simple layout, but um, yeah, I really love it. And um, yeah, I'm still looking and 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 trying to find. <clears throat> I'm sorry, trying to find more things. And um, here I'm grabbing two pink snowflakes. And um, yeah, I will add um, some gold splatters because of the gold in the letters. I wanted to bring in the gold. Um, yeah, it's a silver color and I don't like silver and gold together, but it's um, the gold is in the letters and so I needed um, more gold. And I thought the best way were um, gold splatters. And I'm using Heidi Shine, Color Shine in gold and uh, Focus is not working and <laughs> yeah. And yeah, I'm done. Thanks so much for watching and um, yeah, thanks. Thank you all so much and um, talk to you soon. Bye.